tonight from CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. It's week two of the NFL. squad came out of the tunnel and it was just absolutely deafening in this building they're set for football so are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with Cam Newton and the New England Patriots Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand and this is a game where the defenses they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here yes if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try to finish off the game. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. A gain of five. First down, New England. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven, reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And he's got this down to the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. On second and ten, Newton looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 24-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And there's a catch there by Julian Edelman, and I know the conversation is very big on how much will he miss Tom Brady. But Edelman's one of the top slot receivers in the league and an uber competitor. He's going to miss his friend. He wants to show the rest of the league that his skills transfer no matter who's throwing him the football. Two yards on the. They know that old expression. It's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage. But it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Try to pound it in here with Michelle. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and goal. 
This is obviously a critical sequence for this defense if they want to stay in this game. Down two scores already. They give up a touchdown here. That'll make things really difficult for their offense moving forward. On second and goal. Newton, now oh, fighting off the defender. And a big loss here as he's taken down. A 15-yard loss. It's third down. I know I'm supposed to do the analysis here, but I've got to ask, how did he stay alive that long in the pocket? Yeah, great footwork, which we know he has. If he would have been able to stay alive, get rid of the ball, or run for some yardage, he would have had a very unhappy defensive coordinator, I believe. No doubt about that. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's had it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. And Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. But that worked really well last week, because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski. Maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. Second and five now. Wilson escaping the pressure right. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. That one good for 20. Another catch and run. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Three yards the game there, second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one, even matter. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and seven. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. He's out now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game. And he's got a first down. More yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw again is Wilson. This complete to lock it. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A, gain, a really nice gain of 25 yards. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he is caught at the 7-yard line. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. Okay, so they got the score. Do you go for one here and save the possible two-point conversion for later? I think you do because if you go for two here and you don't get it, that's deflation. Yeah. Now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy one now and come back and try and get it later. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Second and eight coming up. They keep it on the ground, right again. 
And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Here comes a big one as this crowd gets up, making some noise. It's third and short. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle, and he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 44-yard line. Running out of the gun with White. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The tackle made. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I love the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. And this one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. Oh, well, granted, they're getting to 2-0, and, oh, and this time, they're able to take a knee at the end and secure the victory. Preseason, coach said their goal. They obviously want to win everything. He said, I think we can get off to a 3-0 and oh start. Well, here they are, looking at 2-0 and oh right now. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And this one wasn't easy. You had an East Coast team, Charles, going west, playing a night game, but somehow they were able to get the job done. Yeah, when you talk about playing a night game, they're closer to being sleepy because of East Coast time with their bodies when you're kicking off to play the game. So that's a real big accomplishment for them to get that done. The flip side, too, is 